Today, I'm gonna to be changing out a silicone wrist seal on my mod's dry suit. I'll be using the supplied little tool. So I'm gonna pay attention to the orientation. So I got the, the closed, the C of the closed is right here on this seam. I want it to be this ring put back in the exact same spot so that it's still lined up properly so that I can just get my glove and twist it on the right way. So I'm gonna take the spoon, the curve pointed towards the suit, right out. That was pretty easy. Let's see how this goes. Just, this is my first time doing it. So there's sort of a that outer rim or outer rib right here. I'm going to try to get that butted up to the, the edge here. And so I got it kind of like rolled right there. I'm gonna make sure that it's not getting any rolls in there. And basically what I'm gonna do is just, the trick is to tighten it up, just get it kind of like that. And then I'm going to want that, the C of the closed lined up with this here. That's how it came out anyways. No tool really needed to, to pop it back in. And this is just gonna go back in just like that. That was really easy. Now, this is gonna be good to save as a backup still because when the dry glove is on there, you still need the seal to be in the suit in between, in between the suit and the ring for the suit to the ring to be a watertight seal. So even if this is ripped as much as it is, it's still good to keep that as a backup. So the issue for me was that I never cut the seal. My wrists are a little bit outside the range of what they say these fit. So, and these are the, the large wrist seals. So I will need to trim them because basically it ripped because I was just stretching it way too much trying to get my hand through there. Um, it's, it's just way too tight. So I'll need to trim this up. I got the same replacement wrist seals from SciTech wrist seal from Dive Right In. And open up the scissors as wide as possible to get it try to be in one straight oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it in one straight motion but um, that's pretty good main thing is you don't want to have any jagged start stop lines or anything like that so now that's still got plenty of, of area to, to seal there but it's gonna be not as much of a stretch to get it on and off